Hello everyone, I am Engineer Kamran Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn Zafo Civil Engineering. Today I will be discussing about waterbound macadam road, the materials used in waterbound macadam road, the specifications uh, followed during uh, construction and the construction, construction procedure of a waterbound macadam road. Now, Waterbound uh, uh, macadam roads were first invented by John Macadam of Scotland in 18th century. So, in his honor, they are named as a waterbound macadam road. Okay. Now, waterbound macadam uh, roads uh, are roads in which uh, we use clean, crushed aggregates. Okay. Because macadam roads uh, uh, are those roads in which are uh, constructed in stone in crushed uh, stones okay these crushed stones are mechanically interlocked by uh, rollings okay and the uh, free spaces the words in between these uh, uh, crushed stones are filled with the help of some screening or binding material by using uh, water okay now to further uh, prolong the life of the water bound macadam road uh, we are using bituminous surfaces okay because if you will uh, just uh, leave the uh, water bound uh, macadam stratum to uh, the tires of the vehicle so they can easily get wear and tear okay and the other disorder disadvantage of the water bound macadam roads is that uh, they can easily uh, penetrate or pass water because uh, of its huge size okay so if let's suppose the, the water will pass from it to the foundation so the foundation will get softened and the road will become failed. So that's why we are using bituminous material as a surfacing. Okay, because bituminous material is a watertight and a weather resistant material. Now the materials that we are using in waterbound macadam roads are coarse aggregates, screening or filler material, and a binding material. Okay. Coarse aggregate is crushed stone or broken stone. Okay, it should be angular, not flaky, and uh, not a weather material. Okay, it should be angular for proper interlocking. It should not be flaky because if it will be flaky, it will not properly interlock, and it should not be weathered. If it will be weathered uh, or rusted material, then it can easily get wear and tear, and will be disturb easily screening material or it is also known as a, a filler material as the name suggests it is a crushed stone, crushed, crushed stone screening or a stone dust we can, which we can use as a filler among the words of the coarse aggregate okay it should be free from clay lumps dirt and other objectionable material like vegetable or animal decayed matter etc okay if clay or uh, clay lumps are dead will be present inside the filler material then it will uh, change its engineering behavior and it will not be uh, used as a ideal screening or filler material now the binding material binding material is uh, uh, to further uh, prevent the separation of the water bond uh, macadam okay to further prevent uh, the separation of the water bond macadam we are using Binding material. Binding material is again a fine grained material which will pass from a 425 micron CU and it should have a plasticity index less than 6. So these are just the physical parameters of the binding material that the size should, it should be passed from a 425 micron CU and the plasticity index value should be less than 6 and it is again a fine grained material. Okay. Uh, so uh, after giving the screening and uh, water to the uh, compacted uh, aggregates, okay, the further binding or separation will be achieved with the help of the binding material. Now the, these are the specifications of the coarse aggregate. First of all, let me discuss the gradation. In uh, road, we can use three type of material, class A, class B, and uh, class 3 material. Class A material is that material uh, which will pass from uh, 4 in CU 
and which will be returned on a 3 by 4 in C. So anything returned on a 4 in C or anything passed from 3 by 4 in C will be discarded. Okay? And the material passed and returned on a passed from 4 in C and returned on 3 by 4 in C will be used as a class A material for the construction of water bound lithium roads. Now class B material is that material which uh, will pass from 3 in C and will be retained on the 3 by 4 in C. Now class C material is that material which will pass from 2 and a half in C and will retain on 3 by 4 in C. So this, that is something which is uh, uh, common regarding the degradation of the force aggregate. Mostly on roads we are using class B material in Pakistan as a water bound method. Um, uh, core segregate. Now these are the other physical uh, requirements of the core segregate that the Los Angeles abrasion value should not be greater than 45. The maximum value recommended is 45 percent. The flakiness and elongation index value should not be greater than 15 percent. Okay, and the sodium sulfate soundness test uh, value should be less than 12 percent, and the specific gravity value should be a minimum of. Uh, 2.5 okay so these are the other physical requirements of the course aggregates now uh, fine aggregate so this is something regarding uh, the uh, fine aggregate gradation or size okay it should be 100 percent pass from 3 by 18 su and the person passing from the su number 4 is uh, 85 to uh, 100 and the person passing by way from the su number 100 is 10 to so this table can be used for the selection of the fine aggregate or filler or screening material. Now what are the other uh, physical requirements? The physical requirements are uh, liquid limit value should be equal or less than 25. The maximum recommended value is uh, 25 and the plasticity index maximum recommended value is uh, 6. Now what is the construction procedure? of a water bound macadam road. So first of all, you will have to prepare the foundation. Okay, now foundation may be the natural ground or NGC. It may be the water, uh, it may be the subgrade, it may be the subbase. Anything which is beneath the uh, water bound macadam stratum should be compacted properly and that will be categorized as the foundation of the water bound macadam. Then provision of uh, lateral confinement in the form of shoulders are uh, in the form of uh, uh, retaining walls should be uh, constructed prior to uh, laying coarse aggregate, okay? Because then the coarse aggregate will not be, uh, I would rather say, uh, compacted properly because then uh, they will not be confined literally, so they will leave away from the reach of the uh, uh, road, from the carriageway of the road after the application of rolling operation. So that should be literally confined with the help of shoulders are with the help of uh, retaining walls. Then spreading of a uh, core segregate. Core segregate uh, uh, will first be dumped uh, on the uh, sides and then it will be spread with the help of grade or uh, tractor. Okay. After that, rolling will be performed. Okay. And when an acceptable amount of uh, uh, compaction will be achieved, then screening uh, will be applied the fine aggregate screening will be applied so that the free spaces among the particles will be further compacted properly and this process will be known as dry rolling okay after the dry rolling will be completed and a acceptable amount of compaction will be achieved then you will have to sprinkle water on the dish okay and after sprinkling of water you will go towards the binding material and the binding material will be further uh, spread on the reaches okay so that if, uh, uh, let's suppose some uh, pores or spaces will be left, so they will be completed with the help of uh, that binding material and uh, further compaction will be performed. After that, that uh, road will be uh, left for setting and drying overnight or it will be on for traffic so that it will be further compacted properly with the help of uh, running tra traffic in an area. Okay, and after that, uh, we can uh, uh, go towards the uh, bituminous asphaltic layers just to confine the, the water bound macadam from uh, top. Now you uh, should uh, keep in your mind, mind that after uh, completion of the uh, water bound uh, 
make a game layer site inspector will come to site and he will examine the site and if he will found uh, that the site is okay he will call the surveyor the surveyor will check the finish uh, uh, level which will be there in the documents uh, uh, which will be given in the design so if it is suppose uh, uh, the survey is okay the proper camber slope has been laid in the water bound make a dam layer then uh, site inspector will call in the lab staff the laboratory staff okay the laboratory staff will do the uh, field density test and site and they will find the gamma d f value okay then by using the gamma d f value and uh, the maximum the density achieved in lab via the modified progress compaction test value this degree of compaction value will be calculated and this degree of compaction value should not be less than how much 100% uh, it should be equal or greater than 100% in order to pass the layer okay then uh, the other thing that you must keep in your mind they mind that cbr test is not applicable on the water bound make dam because the the plunger of the cbr machine will not be able to penetrate inside the uh, crash stones okay so that's why we are not doing or using the cbr test when you will be constructing the road in the form of water bound make dam okay so this is all 